Hey children, I'm making my double smoked bacon waffle sandwich. I don't think you ever seen that before. I'm gonna show it to you and you understand. You say, yes, I have never seen that. I have never done that. It's gonna be amazing. What I have here, I have ham and also I have pound out some ribeye steak and also fresh chorizo sausage meat. I have some grated Adam cheese from Holland, double smoked bacon chopped up. And also I have some crispy shallots here. I'm making, doing the mix. I have waffle mix, eggs goes down. Goes down and also milk. I guess everybody knows how to waffle, right? Would you say, son? Yeah. And also, I have some vegetable oil. Goes down. Stir, stir, stir. That's the first step you do. Make it because you know what? Waffle batter does have, you know, baking powder. So you need to active. Nice and smooth. Keep setting on the side. Now I'm starting. I have a hot pan here. Chorizo sausage. You don't need any oil. All you have to do, flip and let it cook, let it cook, let it cook. Because of ham have salt and bacon have salt, all you have to do, it means no salt. No salt, it means you need a little black pepper and that's it. So just don't try to be so creative and put all kinds of stuff in there. Don't do that. So that is done, get ready. Let the sausage cook. This is really a good, good brunch dish. Some people drink, some people don't. This is also a very good like, hey, I need some really power protein. I need salt. Uh, or else you feel like, you know, after a workout, I need some meat, I'm craving for protein. This is a very good dish for that. So after you sear, 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 let it, just let it cook. Flip, nice. Let's have a little bacon. Ah, let's have a little bit of, a uh, little bit of butter. Slice, uh, slice, spread out some uh, butter. Hands down, slap it in. Oh, whoa, 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 don't miss, don't miss the thing. Sausage is done. Take it out. Place it over here, get ready. Meanwhile, I'm heating another pan. You see when I cook the steak, this is a kind of thin steak. I don't want to overcook it. You see the nicely, you know, the flavor from the, uh, the chorizo, a little bit smokiness. And this is done. You can just let it sit on top of the chorizo, let the juice like they can kiss each other. You know what I'm talking about, little kisses. Now what I was talking about, make the batter earlier. Now you can see the bubble has rise. See this, the active from east and also baking powder. East. East. Yeast. Like from the east? No, like yeast, like with the Y. Yeah, yeast, yeast. Yeah, you were just saying east. East, yeast. Well, if you don't look at my mouth, you won't, you can tell it sounds the same, right? Yes, it's exactly the same thing, right? Okay, bacon goes down into the batter mix, chopped crispy shallot, mix, stir, 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 little spray. Now I'm putting my waffle batter on. Mm. Really smell the onion mm. and the bacon. Mm. Right? Very nice. Trim it up. Adam cheese and the bottom. Ham. Two layer cheese again. Steak and then chorizo. Then cheese. Sandwich. I have some classic tomato sauce. I have beer. I don't think you ever ever think about these two combination. Beer with tomato sauce. Stir, stir, stir. Mmm, interesting taste. Not saying interesting in a bad way. Interesting, very good. Oh, cheese. Wow, you look, I like the sizzling sound of the cheese. Now, the cheese on the top. Chop chive on the egg. You drop the egg in. Cut it off. Very, very, very slowly. Eggs come out. I want to perfect thing. The circle of egg. Perfect. Get ready. Beer, tomato sauce. Sandwich down. Oh. 
We gonna try it? Let's go try it. All right, shall we try it? Yeah, you go ahead. Yeah, get break the, the egg. egg. Yeah, break the egg. Cut it straight down, cut it in the middle. Break open. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's a sandwich. Eat it with my hands or not with my hands? Yeah, I think you should eat it with your uh, with a knife and fork. I think you can dip the sauce. Not, it's not a sandwich technically anymore. Well, you know, the idea is a sandwich. It, 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 Two pieces of bread, right? Yeah, but sauce, sauce oh, with the sauce. Shine. Yeah. But do they see the the goodness inside in between the cheese? Looks like a perfect pattern. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna use my hand. Chef hands is always clean, they say. Mmm. Mmm. It's missing maple syrup, right? Oh wow. Tomato. Oh wait a second. Son, I have to give this to you because you know what? Tomato. Well, I'm gonna hand it to you. You know, tomato is a fruit. Yeah. Maple syrup is also sugar. Let me get some maple syrup. I think it really hits this. A little maple syrup for. Mm -hmm. Watch this thing. It's classicness. Mm -hmm. mm. Right? Wow. Really? Really like how you can taste the waffles. Yeah. It has because the of shallots in it. Bacon too, right? The mm -hmm. savory. Because don't forget, I think the waffle, they also have some vanilla flavor in there. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, with, with everything, with vanilla, bacon, and shallot. What would you say is the best part? When you hit the steak with the cheese and the tomato sauce, the beer tomato sauce, I think that really sums it up the meatiness but you know the salt i'm so glad i hold back to the salt because it was just perfectly salty with mm -hmm. the bacon and also with the sausage mm -hmm. i didn't put any salt in there so it was a good judgment so do the outro notification bell i'm not going to try to help you at all just whatever you say i'm just going to leave it notification bell if you like this video say you like it hit the button Not notification bell um and subscribe. Yes, there you go.